Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. I'm at Build 2011 and we're looking at the Windows 8 tablet that they gave out here. We've already done a quick walkthrough of the hardware, the software, looked at some of the apps, but there are a lot of things going on with this operating system. So I wanted to just uh, dive into a few new, a uh, few new features, some redesigns, some apps. Additionally, I do have to return this unit, so I just wanted to make sure we get it all in right now. You can download Windows 8 from uh, Microsoft's developer website right now, the developer build preview if you want to try it out. So, um, as we said, reimagination of the of the platform. Notice how touch friendly it is. Uh, you have all these system-wide gestures that have to do with the with the touching of the screen that'll bring you to your last app. It's kind of like pulling pulling the app from there. But what about some of the traditional stuff? So this is your desktop app, is how they describe it, where this will give you, get you back into your traditional Windows experience. But one of the things that kind of interests me is this new task manager. So now, if you'll notice, uh, the IE is suspended, or it was, because the Metro-style apps, Aircraft, Piano, and Treehouse Stampede, which were apps that I had running, will get suspended when you hop into this interface. So let's hit the, or actually let's go back to there. Task Manager is still on there, and then you can obviously just, if you want to kill stuff, like that. It looks the same, or it looks similar to the old Task Manager, uh, more suited for a keyboard I would imagine. And then this is the the major difference here. I know it's kind of weird to be excited about a revamped task manager, but I, I really like this. You have the heat map of what's going on, and then you can actually look at the performance, and you can look at the app history performance. So maybe an update to an app really started to make it uh, leak, and so you can determine that there. A lot of uh, just details and granularity that... Uh, honestly, a lot of tablet users probably don't care about, but for those of you who are concerned that Microsoft is pushing away from power users, you still have the ability to dive into there if you want to. So we, we looked at the store in, a, in another video. It had a coming soon sign. I would imagine that will still be there. So this one has integrated 3G. Uh, if your computer, laptop, or tablet has it, the provider will be able to build out their own Metro-style app. One of the neat things about Windows 8 is if you're on a metered connection, it'll actually give you prompts when it's doing like big downloads. I don't know what's going on with this. It's taking too long. Let's get back to the home screen. So I'm doing the right swipe in there, but there's also a Windows button we can hit there. Now for some of the fun stuff. This tablet comes with the pen. Yeah. I know, it's it's not just a... Let's get a new one. Boop. So, capacitive pen, but they're, they're saying it's... it's uh, I'm not left-handed, so this is going to be difficult. But they're saying it's actually like, uh, not just handwriting recognition, but there's, you know, a pen digitizer. So if you want to write notes, you can do that, and then, ugh. The sad thing is, that's my offhand in the handwritings. Not much better than it normally would. And then, um, for those of you who aren't aware, within any app in the system you can just swipe up and down or swipe from the bottom or the top and you get the t contextual menu there so let's do recognize and then you'll see up there and uh... yeah that's right you can draw and draw on there and then you can upload these to upload to you know any online storage document service you want and then, because it's a Metro app, you can put your, oh, that's, I haven't seen that one before, actually, but you can multitask with other apps, and this is the desktop, this is the desktop in that docking, in that little docking station that'll push the pen 
or the ink app over here. Um, potential uses for this, you know, you could be browsing the web and, you know, want to jot down some notes on this somehow. But I know uh, all this touch is great, but I know what a lot of you are thinking is, how is it going to work with this guy? Unfortunately, I don't have a mouse on me, but uh, you can still do this scrolling just by using the, the scroll wheel. And many of these menus, particularly in IE, let's get this off of here. Uh, we're, we're behind a Wi-Fi firewall thing. But in order to get to to the URL bar and to the tabs, you know, you have to go into this menu, but you can do this by just hitting right click in the menu. So be, we don't have that, but you do have your keyboard shortcuts, you know, you have your, you have your alt tab. It does exactly what you would expect, so if you don't, you know, you don't want to be bothered to go to touch to move or you can still have that similar experience that you're used to on Windows with some of the keyboard shortcuts, if you're going to go Windows tab, it'll, I guess that's the new style of arrow. Flipping through, hitting the Windows button just brings you to the home page. And yeah, but one of the neat things is you can just start typing. So let's say, are we connected here? Yeah. So if you want to start typing, type in into mobile, it'll just pop into this the search bar, which can also be accessed by going into this charm here. Yep. Pre-production software, guys. Let's try that again. So this is the search charm, as they call it, and you can either search through the apps. You can search your settings, your files, you can search through your computer with that, or you can just like type in a program name and it'll it'll launch it. You can if you want to search through the Bing app, you can search the web, all that jazz. So that's a look at some of the additional features of Windows 8. Look for you can get the developer build now, but look for the final product to be out in uh, a while, probably a year or so, but we'll be we'll be keeping an eye on this because it's a very exciting platform for tablets, desktops, laptops, you name it. Great, thanks for watching.